By now you must be familiar with the different types of trigonometric ratios and now you can easily make the table of, for different angles of trigonometric ratios. And you also might remember all the values of 0 degrees, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees and 90 degrees for all the trigonometric ratios. So let's move further and let's understand about the trigonometric ratios for complementary angle. So before proceeding further, we should know what is the meaning of complementary angles. So the definition of complementary angle says that two angles are complementary to each other if their sum is 90 degrees. So we'll understand what the complementary angles are. Now consider this right angle triangle and can you find some complementary angles in this triangle? If you look angle B in this triangle is 90 degrees so the sum of remaining two angles that is angle A and angle C comes out to be 90 degrees. So we can say that angle A and angle C are complementary angles which means that their sum will be 90 degrees. So we can write down A plus C equals to 90 degrees. Now in this A plus C I had omitted the angle sign but we'll take this as angle A only and this as angle C only. So I can write down that angle C can be equals to 90 degrees minus A. This I can say I had taken angle A on right hand side. Now if you look at the triangle we are considering angle A first. So if we are considering angle A can you tell me which is the hypotenuse which side is the hypotenuse here? Always the side opposite to the perpendicular is the hypotenuse. So AC will be our hypotenuse and can you tell me which side will be adjacent and which side will be opposite? The side which is near to the angle given will be our adjacent so AB will be our adjacent or base and BC will be our perpendicular or opposite. So now we can write the trigonometric ratios for angle A. So let's draw the table for all the trigonometric ratios for angle A. Now here is a table and first is sin A. So the value of sin A, can you tell me what will the value of sin A? Remembered Soka Toa, sin is opposite upon hypotenuse. So opposite side is BC here and hypotenuse is AC. So we can write down sin A as opposite is BC. This will be BC upon AC. Now let's complete the whole table and write all the trigonometric ratios in the table. So cos A will be remembered so ka toa it is ka. Cos is adjacent upon hypotenuse. So adjacent is AB and hypotenuse is AC again. So this will be AB upon AC. Now similarly we can write the value for tan either from Sokatoa or by dividing sin and cos. So this will come out to be BC upon AB and cot A is 1 upon tan A. So we will do the reciprocal of tan A and get the value of cot A. Cot A will be AB upon BC. Sec A is reciprocal of cos A. So we'll do the reciprocal of cos A and this will be AC upon AB. Cos A, sorry, sec A will be AC upon AB. And lastly, we can write the value of cos A K as well. It is reciprocal of sin A. So let's do the reciprocal of sin A. Sin A is BC upon AC. So this will be AC upon BC. So these are the six trigonometric ratios for our angle A. Now focus on angle C. Now if you focus on angle C, will AB 
be the adjacent or base? No. AB will not be adjacent anymore. Why? Because our angle has changed. We are now talking about angle C. So, uh, adjacent and opposite will change. So, AB will be our opposite and BC will be our adjacent. So, if we write the trigonometric ratios for angle C, now we will consider AB as opposite and BC as adjacent. So, let us write down the trigonometric ratios for angle C. So, now let us make the table for angle C. First is sine of angle C. We had taken this 90 minus A instead of angle C. We can take this. So, we are finding the value of sine angle 90 minus A. Now, can you tell me what will be the sine 90 minus A? Again use Sokatoa. So, this will be opposite upon hypotenuse. Opposite has changed. AB is now the opposite and hypotenuse doesn't change at all. So, this will be AB upon AC. Similarly, we can write the value of cos 90 minus A. This will be adjacent upon hypotenuse. Ka is there. So, adjacent is now BC and hypotenuse is AC. So, cos 90 minus A will be BC upon AC. Similarly, we can write the value of tan either from Soka Toa or by dividing sin and cos. So, can you tell me what will come? This will be AB upon BC. Next is cot 90 minus A. So, we will do the reciprocal of tan 90 minus A. This will be BC upon AB. Next is sec 90 minus A. This will be reciprocal of cos 90 minus A. And this comes out to be AC upon AB. And lastly, cosec 90 minus A, 90 minus A will be equals to sin 90 minus A. So, we will do the reciprocal of sin 90 minus A and this will be equals to cosec 90 minus A. So, let us do the reciprocal of sin 90 minus A and this will be AC upon BC. So, we had written all the trigonometric ratios first for angle A, then for angle 90 minus A. And now, if you compare, if you compare sin A and cos 90 minus A, do you find some relation between the first and second, between the diagonals of these two tables? Yeah, there is a relation. Sin of A is equals to cos of 90 minus A. Similarly, cos of A is equals to sin of 90 minus A. Similarly, tan of A is equals to cot 90 minus A and cot A is equals to tan 90 minus A. Sec A is equals to cos 90 minus A and sorry, sec A is equals to cosec 90 minus A and cosec A is equals to sec of 90 minus A. That means if we focus on these two tables, we can say that every 90 minus A angle changes to its complementary trigonometric function. So, if you look closely, sine complementary function is cosine. So, sine 90 minus A is changing to cos A. Similarly, cosine 90 minus A is changing into sin A. That means the complementary function of cosine is sin. So, basically every 90 minus A function changes to its complementary trigonometric function. Now, no matter what is the angle, let's suppose we are given sin of 90 minus theta. So, sin of 90 minus theta will be converted to its complementary trigonometric function. So, the complementary trigonometric function of sin is cosine. 
So this will change into sin 90 minus theta will change into cos of theta. Let's suppose we are taking in place of theta angle C. So sin of 90 minus C will change into its complementary function. And just remember the complementary of sine is cosine. So sine will change into cos. So sine of 90 minus C will convert into cos of C. So all you have to remember is that if any 90 minus some angle is given to you, you have to change that trigonometric function into its complementary trigonometric function and then write that particular angle which was given to us as 90 minus that angle. So if 90 minus A was given then we'll take only angle A and if 90 minus theta is given then we'll take angle theta. So that's how we are going to use the complementary functions for A and 90 minus A types of angles.